How's your optimism doing with coronavirus? I think a lot of people are confused about the meaning of optimism, and they think it's just sticking a smile on it and pretending everything's fine. But at six seconds, we use the term exercise optimism because it's work, it's effort. And it's when we're struggling that we most need to do that work. It's when we're struggling that we look around and we say, it's time for me to cross over this river and see that I'm on this side where I don't see possibilities, but somewhere ahead of me, there, there's another perspective. There are three bridges to cross this river and find the optimistic side. The first is to recognize that we can do something. We might not know what it is, but there is a way. We will find something where we can put our energy. The second is that while there are many problems and there's a lot that's affecting us in a negative way, not everything is affected. And the third is that time is passing and the future will be different. Let me give you a concrete example. Uh, we're all trying to wash our hands and scrub down with disinfectant. And it's easy to look at that and say, oh, we're in a dangerous world, something's out to get me. And when we're washing our hands, what if we see it as a way of contributing? What if we see that as a way of saying, I'm doing something to make the world a better place for my family, for my community, for people around me? And when we engage with the people around us with this optimistic orientation, it liberates for them some capacity, some energy, some creativity. And it's in that space that we can actually solve problems. When we're able to engage with people knowing that we can find a path forward, even though we don't know what it is, it liberates in them the energy and creativity to be able to look ahead and explore our possibilities. And it liberates in us the energy that we need in order to look forward. When we're in a challenging circumstance, our vision often narrows. We get very focused on what's wrong and we lose energy. And it's like this heaviness drags us down. And I've been there and the the answer is to cross these bridges one little step at a time. There is a way forward. There are places that things are going well and time is passing. It's gonna change. Colin Powell said optimism is a force multiplier. There's a ripple effect as you're able to have this conversation with people around you, with empathy, with openness, with directness, to, to be able to say, I know that we're struggling and we will find a way through it.